Eagle fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to Philadelphia Eagles Now here on a Monday. We're going to go ahead and jump into the latest Eagles news and rumors. As you guys know, there's no football yesterday. Obviously, the Eagles did not get to play, which we'll get into. They will play tomorrow night on Tuesday night. And obviously, we'll talk about that game here coming up in just a couple of minutes. First, though, let's start with the first breaking news that happened yesterday, and that is that Eagles guard Landon Dickerson uh, is now on the COVID-19 list. So the whole idea of moving the game from noon on Sunday to Tuesday night was because the Washington football team had all these COVID-19 issues. Philadelphia, not an issue at all. They could have played. They wouldn't have been a problem. And yet now, because of the delay, Landon Dickerson has gone on the COVID-19 list. We did not know if he's positive or just had a contact tracing. My guess is that he was positive. Uh, I believe he's va he's vaccinated, so he needs two negative tests in order to play tomorrow night on, on a Tuesday night. Although the odds been playing now seem to be... Uh, pretty slim and so suddenly it went from they're helping the Washington football team by you know giving them a break and letting them get healthy which I, I guess makes sense for them not really for us but it's going to hurt us in the end because our star left guard and Lynn Dickerson's been playing good football uh, is officially most likely out for Tuesday although we'll probably know later on today or maybe to early tomorrow morning again Dickerson is playing really well and I think that's something that's been looked at just briefly here not only on this channel but with the Philadelphia Eagles as a whole is that Dickerson started off on the right side moved over to the left side playing a lot better in his rookie season and I think was I mean, I mean he's, he's, he's a key factor in this game and a key factor going forward so if he's out on Sunday going or on Tuesday now, I weird saying Tuesday versus Sunday. If he's out on Tuesday, it's going to be a big blow to the Philadelphia Eagles. My guess is that Sua Opeta probably starts at left guard. I think they might shovel some things around. But right now, if you look at the depth chart, he would be the most likely guy to plug in there at left guard if Dickerson is, in fact, not be able uh, is not able to play. Honestly, this whole postponement thing is really some BS. As I talked about just a couple of seconds ago, they did this to, I guess, help out the Washington football team because they had all these positive tests. And I, I think if we were in, it was in our shoes and Philadelphia had the positive test, we would appreciate the postponement but the problem is that the nfl said they were going to follow last year's protocol which of course meant that if you had a bunch of tests and you were unable to field a football team then you would have to forfeit the game or the game would have to be played with all practice squad players like it just felt like it was a little bit one-sided and the issue now is that it's going to end up hurting philadelphia more than it is washington because as we'll see coming up here in just a couple of minutes washington suddenly has all these players returning from the covid list right whenever of course land dickerson is going back on the covid list so really just it's just dumb. It's kind of annoying. And now Tuesday night football versus Sunday night football. And now you got to wait and you only get a couple of days off. We got to play another divisional game on Sunday against the Giants. It's just a bad look overall for the NFL and a bad look for the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, pin comment down below. We'll answer this. How many of you guys are? How mad were you that the, the game got moved for to Tuesday night? Scale one to ten. Like where are you at here? You had six. I was at like a nine. Like I mean, I was also had to watch it on Sunday. It got moved to Tuesday night. Give me your thoughts down below right now. Speaking of the COVID list for the Washington football team, they have gotten healthier as they've activated a bunch of defensive linemen who were on the COVID-19 list who would not have played on Sunday had the game actually been played on Sunday. You see him on your screen right now, Jonathan Allen, the star defensive tackle who's leading the team in sacks. He was going to be out. That would have been a favorable matchup for Philadelphia, and now he, of course, is back. Then you got James Smith-Williams. He is back as well. Defensive end Montez Sweat is going to be able to play now on Tuesday night, even though he's not going to be... I think up to conditioning. He's going to have a limited role in this uh, in this uh, pass rush for a Washington football team. However, he would not have played on Sunday either. And then Casey Tuhill as well uh, is not going to play or will play now. And those are the four guys who, again, would not have played had it been a game on Sunday. And now we're going to get a chance to go ahead and play on Tuesday night. And more might be added or taken off from this list as we get closer to Tuesday. This is just as what we know here on a Monday morning, uh, December 20th, getting ready about a you know, day and a half away from the game uh, tomorrow night. All right, we're going to get into the one Eagle who is benefiting from the game being pushed back. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Plenty of coverage here on the channel going into the Tuesday game. And, of course, we'll have some coverage up to, uh, I think, Wednesday we do videos. We're going to do a full recap video um, on the channel on Wednesday. And then, of course, a couple of days off of Christmas. Then right back at it next week getting ready for plenty more uh, playoff push, as they say, in Philadelphia. Hopefully they win this game on Tuesday night. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. Uh, quickly here, of course, Watkins has been activated off the COVID-19 list. This would have been the one player, really, Philadelphia would not have had on Sunday had there actually, you know, been a football game. And so I guess the Eagles benefit in that way. They get Watkins back. But really the, you know, benefit to... Uh, cost in terms of y'all to watch football players coming back and Chris Watkins coming back is uh, not enough for me to say that it's a good thing Philadelphia got the game moved to Tuesday night but well, Watkins will be able to play coming up here on Tuesday night uh, give me your score prediction down below for Tuesday night has it changed Philadelphia was at one point like a, a 12 point favorite in terms of the betting odds that has shifted down a little bit now that Washington's a little bit healthier Taylor Heineke probably going to play on Tuesday night but give me your score prediction for Eagles versus the Washington football team down below right now in the comments section and while you're speaking of predictions of course want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for today's video that is BetUS chatsports.com forward slash Eagles bet promo code is Eagles125 you can still jump in on betting of, against or for Philadelphia in this game I put my money down like 
like on Wednesday when the Eagles were minus four and a half. That's changed now. But of course, you guys going to bet on this game. Do it, our friends, at BetUS. Chatsports.com forward slash Eagles bet. That promo code is Eagles125. Uh, quickly here, final story on today's video. That, of course, is the good news that Philadelphia is officially, officially, and then it's like officially official now. The Eagles have gotten the first-round draft pick of the Indianapolis Colts. We talked about this week after week after week. We were on, you know, Colts pick watch here on the channel, and things have started to change because we kept waiting and waiting, waiting for Carson Wentz to play enough of the snaps according to the, the, the details of the, of the trade. And on, what was it, Saturday night, whenever the Colts had that big win um, in, who, who did they play on Saturday night? I don't even remember right now. The Patriots, that's what it was. Carson Wentz played enough snaps to go ahead and make it official. The Eagles have the Colts 2022 first-round draft pick. So that Carson Wentz trade did, in the end, result in the Eagles getting a first first round draft pick. So they officially now have, as I keep saying the word officially, because it is official, three first round draft picks in 2022. Now the problem is, is that these draft picks are moving. Like they're no longer in the top 10 and the Dolphins have won like six in a row, seven in a row. They beat the Jets yesterday. And so now the Dolphins pick is outside the top 10. Right now, Philadelphia's pick is outside the top 10. And the Colts pick, uh, is you know inside the playoffs right now because right now the only team on this list technically mathematically in the postseason as of today on a Monday is the Indianapolis Colts. That pick is going to sit around uh, the early 20s. Now again, this can change. If you want to root against Miami, of course, going forward, that way that pick maybe can squeak back in to being a top 10 pick. But Tua Tuga by low and the rest of the Dolphins have played well. Philadelphia is, is not going to be a top 10 pick unless they lose out, which we're not expecting them to do because they have Washington twice um, and then of course. They had that matchup with the Giants and the Cowboys. So the odds of that being a top 10 pick are no longer. And then, of course, the Colts. The Colts are probably going to make the playoffs. And if they don't, that means the pick's going to be 17, 18 in the end. And so things have changed from like six months or six weeks ago. We were talking about how Philadelphia would have the number one overall draft pick because the Dolphins were like one and seven. Uh, that no longer seems to be the case. Um, let me ask you guys this. What position do the Eagles need most in the draft? Do they gonna have a chance to get you know, a star pass rusher in this draft because they're going to be so far outside the top 10. Give me your thoughts on what position the Eagles need to go ahead uh, and pick up in this draft down below right now. And finally here, I just want to just emphasize again the importance of Tuesday night, right? Just quickly, you and me. I mean, if they go ahead and beat the Washington football team, they are very much in play to go ahead and nap up the sixth seed, the seventh seed, uh, or whatever one that they can possibly get in the wild card. Dallas has locked up the division. That's basically done. I mean, Dallas's win against the Giants basically assured that on Sunday. Now, the question is Monday night, which will be tonight. We haven't, you know, obviously this is a Monday morning. You want to root against the Vikings? That's a, that's a big one. The Vikings lose and Philadelphia wins on Tuesday night. Then they are really in the driver's seat to go ahead and make the postseason. San Francisco seems to have locked up. Um... That, that, that six seed, it's probably going to be the Cardinals, the Rams there for the five seed. And then it looks like Philadelphia can squeak in the seven seed if they're able to win three or four, as long as two of those are against the Washington football team. Of course, they play Washington uh, you know, twice in 13 days coming up here uh, over the next couple of weeks. So, just again, quick look at the playoff picture there. The importance of Tuesday night's game cannot be overstated. If they get a win and, and, and they can back it up against the Giants, then they're pretty much going to go ahead and go to the postseason and be the seventh seed. All right, ultimately, we have our today here on this edition of Philadelphia Eagles Now. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, at RealThomasMott. Just hit 3,000 followers on my Twitter account. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Again, plenty of coverage. We'll break down the game uh, coming up on Wednesday morning, as we always do. So make sure you guys go down below and subscribe. We have plenty more great content coming up here on Philadelphia Eagles Now. For Eagles Now, I'm Thomas Mott, signing off for the rest of your day.